morning, Esther Manor School. My name is Kylie. And I'm Caitlin. Today is Wednesday, January 18th, 2018. Please stand now for the flag salute. Ready? Salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Chicken Lovers Thursday featuring school favorites in the cafeteria. These include chicken tenders with pasta, an Alfredo sauce, cheeseburger, or turkey club salad. Yum! Now let's move to the weather with Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin, come in. <laughs> Hi, I'm Caitlin. Today the radar looks quite quiet with a clear cold day. Let's check out the three-day forecast. On Thursday, we'll be a high of 36, low 23, and it'll be clear. On Friday, we'll be a high of 44, low 29, and it'll be clear. <coughs> On Saturday, we we'll high of 52. Boy, has anyone ever broken an arm or leg? Did Do you remember that x-ray machine? Today in 1896, the first x-ray machine is demonstrated for doctor's use. Let's go to Patrick for a sports update. Here's the latest on our basketball teams. Yesterday, both teams played against Folsom. Congratulations to the Lady Wildcats, who pulled out a win against Folsom. A great effort to the boys' Wildcats, who were defeated. We'll get them next time. The next games will be away on Monday, January 22nd, against Pilgrim Academy. Go Wildcats! Now back to the main desk. There will be play practice this week, today, and tomorrow after school. Please see Mr. Luca with the call sheets. A special reminder to start studying the spelling words as our spelling bee is this Friday. All students in grade 1st through 8th will have their own class-wide spelling bees on Friday, January 19th. Anyone who needs a last-minute spelling list may see Ms. Sharp. Our spelling word of the day is fancy. F-A-N-C-Y. Fancy. We had to wear fancy clothes to my cousin's wedding. Let's check out some memorable moments from the script's National Spelling Bee brought to you by ABC News. And apparently he's fainted. He seems to be okay and he spelled the word that correctly. Sardoodle dum. Sardoodle. <laughs> Numnut. <laughs> Numna. Oh, Numna. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a relief. <laughs> N-E-G-U-S, niggas. This young man tied for ninth in 2010, and then tied for third 2011, third again in 2012, and this is it. Did you... Wow, pretty cool. Did you know that the Winter Olympics are only 21 days away? Did you know that the women's Nigerian bobsled team not only qualified for the 2018 Olympics, but also the first female African-American bobsled team to ever participate in the Winter Olympics? Pretty impressive. Finally, let's share our joke of the day. What bow can't be tied? 
I don't know. What? A rainbow. Ha 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 ha! Well, that's it for today. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Kylie. Wishing, Wishing you a thoughtful Thursday. Thursday.